Well, welcome back. October is Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, or SIDS, Awareness Month. While the U.S. is seeing a decrease in rates, SIDS accounts for more about third, uh, a third of unexpected infant deaths. And one of the best ways to keep your baby safe is by practicing safe sleep. And here to talk to us all about that is Barb Falk. She's the director of the Women's Services at West Boca Medical Center. Good morning, and thank you so much for being here. Good morning, Natalie. How are you? Very good. Thank you. So for people that don't know about SIDS, I know we just kind of talked a little bit about it. Can you just tell us more? Absolutely. Sudden infant death, or SIDS, is the leading cause of death for infants under age one. It's something that has actually some ways that we can help prevent it as well. Okay, so what can we tell parents and caregivers um, about SIDS and other sleep-related um, infant deaths? Sure. The Academy of uh, American Academy of Pediatrics has the ABCs of safe sleep, which I'll show you in just a little okay. bit. Um, there are some other risk factors we can do. We can avoid things like smoking, secondhand and even thirdhand smoke are ways that can increase that risk of sudden infant death for babies. Um, avoid cords or things that could, baby could get entangled mm -hmm. in, window blinds, electrical cords, baby monitor cords, things like that you want to keep away from the crib. And then we'll talk about the ABCs. All right, perfect. Let's get right into the all demonstration. Right. So tell us what we're doing here. So all we want to make sure is that we've got the ABCs covered. So baby okay. is alone in the crib, so mm -hmm. not with any other um, people, adults, no stuffed animals, no toys, bumper pads, fluffy blankets, pillows, all alone. Okay. Um, B is for on their back. They're on their back at nap time. They're on their back at night time, so never on their side or tummy. And then C is for a crib. So bassinet or crib, baby is always there, not in a couch, sofa, you know, chair with grandma, uh -huh. things like that. So the ABCs, we want to make sure we've got a tight-fitted um, sheet on there okay. rather than fluffy blankets. Um, baby is swaddled right now, but as baby gets a little bit bigger, and we could take that swaddle off as they're able to move around on their own. So okay. again, baby's on their back. Um, Perfect. All alone, no extra things in the crib. Um, we do recommend rooming in with baby, which we start right in the hospital as well. So that means you're in the room with baby um, for the first six months or so. Okay. You respond quicker to baby's needs, it increases breastfeeding, and you all get back to sleep a little all quicker. Right. All great advice. Okay, so th this is it. Yes, so making it. sure that you don't have extra things. There's a lot of things people like to put in the cribs. Fluffy blankets, they've got bumper pads, they've got all kinds Stay of things. Stay away from all of that. Yeah, they make those little wedges people like yeah. to buy because yeah. they think that they're you know, going to protect them from SIDS. So nothing like that at all. We recommend just all alone on their back. Once baby is allowed to move around or is able to roll to their tummy, you could actually then just have them out of the swaddle and then baby can just be dressed in like a little sleep sack or a, a sleeper. Um, versus having a blanket on them. Okay, so should so. parents be worried when their baby starts to roll over? They, they really don't have to worry about okay. it, baby. Once baby can move and roll over, they're a little bit less likely to have a problem, but you always want to make sure that you're hearing if baby is, is making sounds. That's why they recommend the rooming in so that you can respond in case baby is stuck in, in an area of the mm -hmm. crib. But when you have less items in the crib, baby's just a little bit safer, less likely to be having any kind of issues like yeah. that. All right. Did we miss anything, Barb? Any other information um, that we should get out? Out there that we didn't touch upon for parents? I think one other thing they do recommend is a pacifier for sleep. It okay. can actually help decrease the risk of sudden infant death. What happens as the baby starts to suck, it activates that respiratory center in the brain and they start to kind of wake themselves up again. So oddly enough, pacifiers can decrease the risk of SIDS. All right, so. great. Well, thank you so much and thank yeah. you for all of this important information. If you would like to learn more and for more information, you can head to safe to sleep dot N I C H D N I it's right there on the screen because that is a long one. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Barb. Sandra.